tell me who your neighbors are um, that are currently um, that you have a relationship with that um, through your connection have come to church here and now invested here. The main ones that are coming to church here are Stephanie and Mike and their family. And recently, Eileen and Gary, every person has a story. They're like a book. Everybody likes, you know, an interesting book. And when you realize that these people have a story, it gives you the chance to be a part and take part in their life, and it gives you opportunity to go deeper. We have two little dogs. Bodie's a little five pound Morky and Shimmer is like a nine pound Yorkie and it looks really cute. My big husband walking these two little prissy dogs through the neighborhood and people, kids, older people, people just, you know, were uh, really uh, entertained by the idea of him walking these two little dogs and it opens up opportunities for him to talk and to ask them how they're doing or maybe if they need prayer and just to pray with them right there on the spot. We started in the winter having a fire pit out front and sitting out in front of our house and it was a great draw. Now we have we have seating outside of all of our front houses. A lot of people have started doing that in our neighborhood. And anybody's welcome to come over and bring a chair, pull up a chair, and we sit and we visit. We have made a place that is welcoming. And just, if you put chairs and go out and sit in the front, it's amazing the people that will come by and just stop. I have a great big tree in front of my house and it is perfect for sitting under. And, um, and in the winter we do the fire pits and nearly freeze to death and die of smoke inhalation. But, you know, people come, they walk up, they come sit down and we visit. I think the thing I've learned the most is that God's available. He is already working in your neighborhood and He just wants us to be available, to be willing to open our eyes and see the needs that are around us. And I believe that his Holy Spirit does the work, and we're just the vessels that uh, God uses to reach out and touch these people's lives.